Okay, so my 25th birthday is this week. Yes. I'm getting old, kind of scary. It's also super young and I have my whole life ahead of me and I'm so excited to keep growing and learning over the next decades and quarters of centuries to come. But I've learned a lot in my first 25 years and I thought I'd share a few things that I've learned. Some really, really big and important, some super, super insignificant, but nonetheless, I made you a list. Go, 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 go. Number one, Blondes seem to have more fun, and since I've gone platinum, platinum blondes seem to have the most fun of all. Use different passwords for everything. Like, after watching this, go change your passwords. And don't write all your passwords in one note, because that is just, that's bad. A meme says a thousand words. Here are some of my favorites. Don't panic about getting older, because we're all getting older at the same pace. So, embrace it, and Take care of yourself. Moisturize. Sunscreen. It's important to realize how your actions or words can impact others. Beyonce does not sing waterfalls. I'm well aware, I know that. Beyonce, I love you. A little gesture of gratitude goes a really long way. Don't Google your symptoms, or if you do Google them, don't take them necessarily as fact. Drink water, like a lot of water. Like right now, especially now that I'm getting old. Mm. Oh, and you have to eat the fortune cookie for the fortune to come true. It's science. Take care of your mind. Meditation is a really great way. Even if you just put your earbuds in and shut the world out for 10 minutes, it goes a long way. Treat yourself. Three words for you. Treat yourself. Call your representatives. Sometimes small acts can have big impact. When in doubt, Bring it home. For me, that's St. Louis. Every chance I get to go home, I'm there. You are responsible for your own happiness. Same way I'm responsible for mine. And my happiness cannot rely on, on anybody else. I have to be happy from the inside out, and so do you. And same thing goes for your self-worth. Don't let anybody else define your own self-worth. Everybody is kind of bullshitting it most of the time. So just remember that. There are three zones, comfort zone, learning zone, and panic zone. This is code with classy lingo. It's important to be in the panic zone on occasion because it pushes you to challenge yourself. And comfort zone is okay, but also don't be complacent. You wanna keep reaching higher, dreaming bigger. There's pretty much nothing that a good coffee can't help you accomplish. Set intentions daily. And what by that I mean like, Wake up in the morning knowing something, big or small, that you want to accomplish. Ketchup goes good on everything, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, so BYO ketchup. Uh, always try to be on time. That's one that at 25 years old I'm still perfecting, but I've gotten better. And the next quarter century, let me tell you, I'm going to be more on time than ever. Take care of your gut, and your whole body for that matter. Probiotics, vitamins, exercise, water, all of this is important. Do things that scare you. Not in a way that makes you fearful to try new things, but just scary enough that it's out of your comfort zone and that it pushes you to grow. And that is something that I hope I continue to do all throughout my life. Community is part of the magic of life, and community could be your neighbors or your best friends, but I'm so grateful that you guys are in this community. So thank you for your support and for watching this video and for being a part of the ride and the journey uh, that the next quarters of centuries will will take me on. I, I hope that I hope to bring you with me. Okay, bye. Here we go, I'm old.